I am in the very high Andes of Peru, feeling the lack of oxygen, strong wind, very chilly. And while I was driving, a thought entered into my mind. I thought a very strange thought about creative inspiration, about photographic inspiration. And I want to share it with you. This video isn't going to be a tutorial. These are some things for you to think about and I would really love to get your thoughts in the comments below. I'll certainly be sharing my thoughts, my ideas and even though this isn't a tutorial, I think that these thoughts and ideas could be very useful for you as well. It is just way too windy to be filming outside. What a contrast it is to Brazil where we've just come from. And the places that we visited in Brazil, there were some of the most enjoyable places that we've visited in recent memory. But they weren't really inspirational to me photographically. And I mean, many of them were stunning, but they lacked the kind of magic that I get really excited about photographing. I'm not saying that I won't find the magic later on, just that it wasn't there yet in the places that I already saw. And here, after living in Peru for about three years, I've come to really dread the altitude, the cold, the headaches that you get from the altitude until you get used to it, the, the dry nose all the time, <laughs> the nose full of boogers. But these parts, there's something so inspirational about them photographically. Of course, the mountains, which are so mystical and so stunning, have a lot to do with it, but it's also the characters that you see here, the incredible photogenic faces, the expressions, the wrinkles etched by the elements on these faces. The vibrant Andean costumes. It's like this totally different world. Well, strangely, I've often found this to be the case. The places which aren't as enjoyable outside of photography very often tend to be the ones which are the most inspiring creatively, which are the most photogenic. I am immediately curious about this. Do you find yourself sometimes, maybe all the time, in a situation where you feel more inspired creatively, photographically, in the kinds of places which you wouldn't necessarily visit if it weren't for the photography? I've come down an altitude now, but I really wanted to get that intro filmed in the high mountains for more visual impact and to get my point across. Now, I am wondering if there is a larger factor at play here. Does the fun and having a good time get in the way of creativity? I find that when I'm doing the things that I enjoy the most, like swimming, going for hikes, spending time with my family, I'm not necessarily focusing on photography. Sure, I might make a few photos here and there if I have a camera with me, but focusing on an entire photo project or anything of that nature becomes much more difficult. Looking back on my projects, I realized that most of them were made in places where I probably wouldn't have spent more than one or two days had it not been for their photography. In many places in my beloved India, I wouldn't have even visited them if it were not for the photography. I certainly wouldn't have spent more than three or four days. I would not have spent more than like one day at the Ijen crater in Indonesia because it's just so brutal there. If you just want to see the place, then one day is plenty. In Mauritania, I was very tempted to just drive through the country. As much as I love the desert, I would not have endured the 40 plus degree heat if it were not for the photos. One of the places that I enjoyed most in Peru is where I'm driving through now, the Sacred Valley. And I'm actually driving back to the village where I lived during most of my time in Peru. Through all of my time here, I probably should have photographed much more. I didn't because I was doing all of the enjoyable stuff. But the other places, the higher mountains, the more remote parts, the less pleasant parts, I was really motivated to create there. I guess subconsciously my mind was telling me, hey, you're here, this is not the kind of place where you want to just hang out, so make the most of your time here as a photographer. 
So uh, it's been a few weeks since I started filming this video. Uh, I am now in Yanawara in the Sacred Valley and this is the exact same village where we spent most of our time while we lived in Peru. I uh, haven't shot at all so far, kind of expected that, but uh, been catching up with friends, just sort of having a quiet time, enjoying life, and I actually got a pretty bad case of altitude sickness because we've been uh, on lowlands for quite a long time. Anyway, I have been thinking, has there been anywhere where I have been creative and productive and where I've actually really enjoyed? And yeah, there have been a few places where the productivity and enjoyment have coincided. I remember in the Philippines, I documented the lives of fishermen. I stayed for a whole month in a beach village and it was wonderful just to go out and swim and snorkel, enjoy the food in the place where I was staying and to photograph pretty much every day. In Puerto Lopez, Ecuador, things kind of came together too. I was filming there more than I was photographing, but let's just say that I was being creative. And I was definitely enjoying my time by the beach and near lush tropical forests. In Braslav, Belarus, I documented that area a lot. And that's actually the place that I used to enjoy most in all of my native Belarus. I have photographed in the Sacred Valley over my past stays here too, of course. But I do feel like I could have been just so much more productive. Is it too comfortable here? Is it kind of over the threshold of being too comfortable and too enjoyable and a little bit under the threshold for the amount of creative inspiration? Or am I being too critical on myself? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Some things here in the valley are, they, they sort of remain a mystery to me. I do believe that I'm not the only one who is more productive, more creative in those places that I don't inherently enjoy. I think that many photographers are like this. You know, more photographically switched on in places that we wouldn't visit if not for the photos. And of course, with the photos often come incredible experiences, but then I wonder if many of us would go to these places if it were only for the experiences and not the photos. I'm just thinking out loud here. And I've thought about this since I started filming the video a few weeks ago. I have to admit that the discomfort, the chaos, the occasional stress, they have actually been good for my creativity and my productivity. When there are nice beaches, great food, all these comforts and luxuries, I can become lazy. Now, not all the time, but in the past, that's often been the case. And now I am in a different stage of my life, different to even five or seven years ago. I'm not only chasing photos for my portfolio, I'm not chasing publications, I do not want quite as much discomfort and stress right now. My aim is to, well, at least try to find a nice balance where I can be creative and happy and enjoy life to the fullest. Enjoy my surroundings, a forest, a nice climate, the quiet, where it's not polluted. I have been experimenting by photographing everyday life in some of these more enjoyable places capturing moments with my daughter, making videos and vlogs. Since I intend on being more in nice places, I'm working on being more productive. Now, I have not found the answer yet. So far, I'm only sharing potential answers. I'll probably be able to provide you with a clearer perspective in a few years, so stay tuned. Again, I am very curious to know how it is for all of you out there. And that is about it for this video. Now, before you go, I highly suggest that you check out the video that's on the screen right now. It's about mastering visual communication, which is absolutely crucial to great photography. So check it out and uh, till next time.